Hey guys, just come over the Blue Mountains, heading into Oberon. I've decided to go a different way to the way I described in the last video, mainly just because it was, it's been raining in Sydney for the last uh, four days and, and that road was going to be pretty muddy and wet and it's slow and you just you just won't get the progress you want so I decided to go over straight over the Blue Mountains and take a it's a nice little windy tourist route type road through Oberon and then hopefully out to Cowra um, I hope it won't take too long it's about I think the day is about 350 400 k's um, I did leave later at about nine it's pretty chilly it's been um coming over the mountains it was pretty damn cold but um it's good it's been fair it's just been a bit overcast a bit cloudy no rain which is good i think it's forecast tomorrow in sydney so today was probably one of the best days to get out of sydney and the fresh air out here oh my god it's beautiful it's chilly on the face but it is very bloody nice. Bloody nerves this morning, just kind of. I was excited, but I was just worried. I get it, like, I get like that a lot before a ride. For a lot of rides. Mainly big rides, there's all going away or there's a certain sort of uncertainty, I suppose. So, we'll see how that, um, I think I'm feeling better now. You just needed to get kind of outside of Sydney. And hopefully I have enough memory cards for this trip. I only bought three and I'll probably buy another one at Bendigo, but <laughs> I was going to buy a laptop, but oh yeah, I did have a laptop, I was going to bring it, but it's just the, like, you should see how overloaded this bike looks. Got an extra about 27, I weighed it all, it's about 27 kilos. I packed it, I repacked it. I don't know, like, there's so little in there, it seems. Like, the swag takes up a lot of room. The swag has my sleeping bag, my mattress. It has my thermals, actually. Kind of wish I'd put them on. Anyway, I'll probably do that tomorrow. Just one of the bags is, you know, it's got tire tubes, it's got the repair kit, and then it's got a few clothes. And that's kind of about it. Like, really, I've only brought two t-shirts other than the one I'm wearing, a pair of jeans, and a jumper, which I have on. That's all the clothes, oh, and some, you know, socks and undies. You know, more of that kind of stuff. But t-shirts you can kind of wear for more days, and you can always go buy some. That's what I was thinking. I thought, well, do I just take t-shirts out completely and just buy something the other bag just has um, mainly camping stuff and a pair of shoes so it's got food it's got the trangia so it's got six meals in there for dinner freeze-dried food about six to eight quick oats flavored oats so I don't have to add any sugar and some sachets of cappuccino coffees I could have in the morning. It's awesome. I've got my camera. I brought my 5D. That takes up a bit of room. I was thinking about not, but it's one of those things. The 5D is, it just takes really good photos. It's got a few, I got a little battery in there to power the phone when I need it at night. Um, and things like that. But it's just amazing how quickly space just disappears. I'm going to do a few, I might do a bit of rearranging tonight. See if I can get a little bit more room. I don't hold out much hope for that. Here you go, nice little river. It's scenic, isn't it? It's scenic. Anyway, I'll get back to you sometime on the ride a bit later. Almost done 200 kilometers now. I'm heading west from Oberon, gone through Oberon. 
taking the kind of back way cow will take longer I don't know how much dirt there is but the roads are pretty kind of like they're tired they're pretty smooth all right oh a little bit of dirt back guys I just thought I'd have to show you this beautiful scenery sort of west of Oberon cutting through the hills I hope I hope I'm going in the right direction I'm following the GPS and I had set up a track to take but you know it's always a bit of a scary thing sometimes all these little roads that no one takes because they're just a little kind of just access points to people's land you know oh tried to wave Beautiful. Look at that. I'd love to live around here. I bet it gets cold, but it's so nice. It's such a nice little road. I'm gonna have to do this on like a weekend outing, I reckon. Come in spring, later in spring maybe, when I get back from this trip and come out via this way. the last major town before Kara so I don't know how close we are It'll be interesting to see I'm coming into Neville no yep it's Neville population of 100 100 people I wonder how accurate that is it's a little town elevation of 920 meters my knowledge of the day it's a bloody scenic uh, ride this though it's the best way to get here it takes a lot longer and there's you know dirt roads and stuff but that's kind of cool like it's just such a nice scenic ride What I was kind of hoping for when I organised the ride is doing this kind of riding, get a few k's. Because the problem with the dirt, you don't tend to get many k's done, and if you've got too too big a distances, you start to kind of get a bit worried that you actually never get to where you want to go. Even though part of the fun of it is the actual journey there, Manjurama, Manjurama. Oh, this is a nasty material check out the canola fields guys we're coming into Cara about 20 k's outside of Cara isn't that beautiful you probably can't see shit but there's yellow over there I somehow ended up on the midwestern freeway or something some such I ended up back on the main road. I don't know. 
GPS not really listening to what I was telling it to do. I don't know, maybe I missed the point. Oh well. It's been a good ride anyway, still fun. Enjoyed it. It's bright. I'm trying to decide what to have for lunch. Something I didn't bring is lunch. Everything else, apart from lunch, because I figured I'd just get it on the way. Maybe have a think about where I might stop for lunch. Maybe it's a small town. A pub or something. More canola! Okay guys, I'm coming into Cowra at the moment.